Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my top five skin and acne clearing tips with you all. I have gotten a few requests to do a skincare routine and that video will be coming to you all shortly. But before I post that, I do want to say that I feel like a lot of skincare routines are just listing a lot of products that people use. And while what you put on your face is important, I do think that there are tips that you can do to improve your skin health and overall health before you go and spend a lot of money on a specific product that may not work for you in the end. So I thought I would just do this quick little video and share my personal experiences with you all. I have been blessed to have never have had terrible acne where I would need to see a doctor for it. However, I have always had issues with acne. I think everyone in my family is pretty acne prone and ever since I can remember I've always had like a pimple on my face and when I got pretty bad uh, my problem areas were definitely my T-zone and I would get bumps all across my forehead as well. So I had pimples here and there towards the end of grade school and towards the end of high school and my first few years of college is when I would say my acne got pretty bad. It never inhibited me from going out and I never felt incredibly self-conscious about it to the point where I didn't want to have a social life but I didn't feel the best about it and I decided that I needed to actually do things in order to try to improve my skin. I would cycle through a variety of different acne products but none of them ever seemed to really work for me in the long term. So I decided that maybe I should look towards my lifestyle and make changes in that to see if that would make more of a difference. So my first two tips are pretty simple but I think that they need to be said. So the first one is just stop touching your face. For me, I didn't even realize how much I actually touched my face during the day. And every time you touch your face, you're just putting more dirt on your skin and allowing stuff to accumulate in your pores. And so I made a conscious effort to try to reduce that and my skin did improve some. My second tip is to practice good hygiene. Now I'm not saying that everyone with acne is really gross and dirty or anything like that at all. But you can practice better hygiene tips that will help reduce your acne. So personally for me that was establishing a skincare routine and sticking to it rigidly, not skipping, washing my face at all, and then also just changing my pillowcase more frequently. I change it once a week now and that really works for me. So my final three tips are the things that most dramatically affected my acne and improved my skin health overall. And I'm just gonna list them in chronological order because these are the steps that I took, but you could do these all at the same time or you could do them in any order you like, it really doesn't matter. So the first thing I did that I noticed improved my skin was starting to actually exercise. When you exercise, you're obviously sweating and it does help clear out your pores even though you feel kind of gross in the moment. But I noticed that my acne did get a lot better after I was just living a healthier lifestyle. So after that, I started to actually drink more water and this helped dramatically. I don't even think people realize how underhydrated they are, but now I drink between two and three liters of water per day and it may seem like a lot, but really that's what you should be drinking in a day. And as soon as I started to drink more water and exercise more, I noticed that my skin was just so much healthier and I felt so much better too. But I still had some little pesky bumps that were on my forehead. They weren't really as red as before, but they didn't really disappear. Then finally, my final tip, which I think is the most important one, and you should do it anyways, is to go vegan. I was, what you would say, plant-based throughout this whole time when I started to exercise and drink more water, but my acne didn't finally disappear until I eliminated dairy products from my life. And I really didn't think that dairy was having that much of an effect on my skin. But afterwards, about a month or so when like the detox period had finally ended and all of the icky animal products were out of my system, I noticed that my skin looked so much better. And now I still get an occasional pimple here and there, but really it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Now I'm not saying you can just go vegan and automatically your acne is going to disappear. I eat a high carb, low fat, vegan diet and I do think keeping my fat intake lower has helped my overall skin health but I think that the biggest thing for me that helped was to avoid processed oils. 
Oil is not a health food, even though people want you to think that it is. It's just refined from the original plant source. So you're getting all the fat, but you're not getting any of the nutrients or health benefits with it. I definitely noticed that when I eat foods that have more oil in them, I do tend to break out more. Even after I just eat like one greasy meal, I do notice that my skin just feels a lot more oily and dirty. But when I eat foods that have a higher fat content in their whole form, like nuts or avocados, I don't really experience that at all. However, I don't think that you need to completely eliminate oil from your diet. When I go out to eat at a restaurant, I don't ask for no oil in my food. I don't avoid oil like it's the plague. I still eat foods that contain oil in it, like granola, on an almost daily basis. And I do notice when I eat out more or I eat more oil, my skin gets worse. And it does get better when I eliminate it. However, I'm not going to completely cut those foods out of my life because I enjoy them. And at the end of the day, a pimple is just a pimple. Sometimes I think people can be a little too obsessed about their skin health. And it's really important to remember that just because you heal your acne and your skin becomes a lot healthier doesn't mean that you're never going to get a pimple again in your life. Like, like everyone else, my body is constantly changing and my hormone levels are rising and falling and changing according to the time of the month or whatever. And so some weeks are better than others but I'm completely okay with that. And I think that everyone needs to accept the fact that some people are more genetically gifted and have cleaner skin, where some people do have acne problems. And even if you adopt a high carb, low fat vegan diet and you exercise and you drink so much water, some of it is hormonal and it is very hard to control. But that doesn't make you less of a person. It doesn't lower your self worth or your beauty. Like you're, you just have acne and I wouldn't not be friends with someone because they have acne and anyone who judges you because of your acne is really not worth your time because in reality your skin is just your outer shell and it doesn't relate to who you are as a person at all. I just think it's so stupid and and yes like it makes sense to worry about your acne and to care about your physical appearance but at the end of the day you shouldn't let that stop you from enjoying your life and going out and just following your happiness. But those are my five tips that really helped dramatically improve my skin and I thought I would share them all with you. I will be filming a skincare routine and that will be coming soon. I will have it linked in the description of the video once that video gets published if you're interested in watching it. But I hope you guys have a lovely day and thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye!